Hello to all of my one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. We're going to see what comes out. Cross watchers, you know, you're always welcome here. Need you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me to show my channel some love. Some love. Excuse me. Let's see what your energy is, Pisces. Take what applies to you. Leave the rest, okay? Don't force something to become your story or fit into your life and it doesn't apply. You have the judgment card here. So a situation that from the past is about to be put to rest. Um, it's like you are finally dealing with something. This has something to do with, um, I feel like even your angels and your ancestors, someone from the spiritual realm has been really rooting you on and guiding you on the right path of what to do, how to behave, how to act. Um, not letting much get to you at this point in your life. You may be very happy with your where you are. You also may be getting some sort of good news coming in too. I feel like a uh, something is about to, you're about to either get a confirmation at this time that you're on the right path. I feel like you're going to be shown a sign or get a confirmation. You're going to look at something from a different perspective too. You're going to take the time to look at a, a situation from a different perspective. Something that you've been stressing over I feel like you're going to see it was unnecessary. You didn't even have to worry about it or stress about it. Something is about to take care of itself. Maybe you were wondering, were you doing the right thing? Were you on the right path? A lot of negative self-talk, like wondering if you made the right choice. But I feel like you're about to get a confirmation letting you know that you did. It's time for you to stop second guessing yourself about things or talking yourself out of out of you see something differently. And I feel like you're right. You're going to get a confirmation to let you know that you're right. You have the death card here. This uh, remember, I just said it's like your ancestor, someone who's already moved on. They're in from this, like your ancestors are trying to tell you that you're, you're doing something the right way. You were on the fence about what you should do or if you should continue on a pathway. I feel like some sort of, you're about to get some sort of clarity. Yeah, and it has a lot to do with you feeling betrayed. You're about to look at something from a different way. You're about to see, it's like you're, you are right about something. You're absolutely spat on. So I feel like you've been, you've been on the fence and second guessing yourself about someone. You have the lover's card here. I feel like you're about to start showing yourself a lot more love. I, I feel like, you know, this, this, energy of worrying unnecessarily and then whatever you thought was going to happen never happens or you're worried are you on the right path did you connect with the right person some sort of confirmation is coming your way but this is being sent from the other side though from the from the spiritual realm hmm Wow. At the at the bottom of the deck, you have the 10 of cups here. Yeah. So this is like emotional happiness, something you've been trying to manifest. Again, you're going to see that you were worrying unnecessarily. And I feel like your angels or the someone, your ancestor, someone who's already passed on is going to let you know. That you are deaf. Not only are you right about something, whatever you were kind of 
Maybe you were like second guessing, like, am I doing the right thing? Should I continue to do this? Should I continue to do that? Or something you're going to get some sort of confirmation to help you see. It's even going to help you look at betrayal, like people who talk bad about you behind your back. You're going to be looking or people who do kind of like really messy things in groups or something. It's even making you look at them from a different perspective. Because I feel like someone vibrated in an energy of fear and they were projecting it onto you. They could have done something that they shouldn't have done. Um, and then, you know, play the victim like, oh, I'm so afraid. I don't know what Pisces might do. I'm afraid. Like they're playing the victim, but it's really to cover up something that they were saying. That it was like some sort of backstabbing energy there. So I feel like you're going to see something from a different perspective, why somebody is actually playing the victim. But you're also going to see that you're on the right path with some uh, area of your life. You have the Empress, the Emperor card here. That is Aries energy. You know what, whoever that was, whoever that's on the on the other side, like the other person that's that has passed on, I feel like they were structured in life. They kind of they may have been, I don't know, maybe it was a supervisor, maybe it was a um some sort of authoritative figure in your life. But I really feel like this person they they sort of enforce rules because that's the way that they knew how to do it. That's what that's the only way that they knew how to do something. They did it the best way that they knew how, you know. Let's see. Why is this page of pentacles here? You're getting some sort of good news about your level of resilience. You've had to go through a lot to create new beginnings for yourself. And I feel like this is the confirmation that you needed to keep going. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know what the sign is. That it's like you're going to get some sort of sign or something. I don't know whether it's going to be through music. It may be through a song where you somebody's like a song that's being played that remind you of somebody who's already passed on. It could be a saying that only they used to say it, you know, something that it's just, it's so it's maybe it's the kind of car they drove or same color, something. It's like you're going to get some some sort of sign that you're doing the right thing. Yeah, will of fortune. After seeing something from a different perspective, you feel comfortable moving on from it. After getting a deeper understanding of a situation, why something turned out the way that it did, why external forces were saying what they were saying, why they were behaving a certain way, you're going to be able to move on from it. It's like you just needed to understand something in depth. Now that you have that knowledge, you know what direction to move in. You have the, the Queen of Wands here. So I'm going to tell you, remember I said that you worry unnecessarily. I, I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. I feel like there, you may have external energies that don't really like your status. So their way of dealing with it is trying to project something on you. But they feel like you are either too lucky or you get too much attention or you're too passionate about things to get like whatever you're passionate about. You seem to know how to turn it. You know how to make it work for you. And that can be intimidating sometimes. So I feel like people sometimes try to downplay who you are or what you do. 
I don't feel like you do it to impress them. You do it to impress yourself. You know, so it's like somebody is downplaying something. They they want you to be in the energy of stress or doubting yourself or not being sure because they feel like you think too much of yourself. But Pisces, I see again, I see that 10 of cups right there. Things are about to get significantly better for you. So don't let anyone shake your confidence because they lack confidence. There's some sort of energy around you that feels like they have to compete with you even when you're not competing with them. Even when you're just being true to yourself and who you are. You can't help it if you get attention. You understand? You can't help that. You have the Ace of Cups here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. There's a situation in your life, Pisces. Again, someone from the other side wants to give you something. This is like, you may feel a lot of love just come over you. Something, it may even bring you like to tears, like tears of joy. Something that you hear, some sort of confirmation you're getting is going to bring, and it's, it's almost like, or you may hear this person's name or something. It's like, what it, but it's, it's going to make you happy inside. You're going to have like tears of joy, like, oh my goodness, like, I know that's my, I know that is that person trying to reach out to me. I know that they're, that's the confirmation I needed. That's what I needed to hear. That's what I, it's a, it could be even be a smell. It could be, I don't know. It's something. It's a sign that's going to come in. This is going to make you feel so warm and happy inside. King of Swords here. Yeah. So again, remember I said whatever you were on the fence about, you're really going to get some sort of like um, confirmation. The truth, the honesty is coming in. Clarity is coming in. Mm-hmm. Some sort of honesty or clarity is coming in. You have the Three of Cups here. So I'm going to tell you something. You know, people have these little small victories when they think they've affected you, right, Pisces? But I feel like they, they have these little small celebrations when they feel like they have you in the energy of worrying or whatever, right? But Pisces, I feel like someone tried to throw energy your way and they expected for you to react in a negative way, but you did the total opposite. You turned lemons into lemonade and that's what they weren't expecting. You saw something from a different perspective. That's why you went right past it. You let something, it's like something that was meant to actually be bothersome or you know, it's almost like somebody tried to provoke you by doing something, hoping that you would react in a negative way, but instead you reacted in a positive way. That's what they weren't expecting. Someone is really upset that you feel good about yourself, that you're confident, that you keep having wins and victories. You know? You have the justice card here, the lover's card. So something is about to be balanced out. Relationships are about to be balanced in your life. Some sort of really good connections. Relationships are about to be balanced. I also see you have the queen of cups right here. So Pisces, the love that you, you know, it's something in your life. You've been putting out a lot of um. You feel a lot of love for people. You feel a lot, a lot of love for yourself. You want people to vibrate in a higher energy because you know what that feel like. Vibrating in the energy of jealousy, trying to be passive aggressive, trying to provoke people. That's very low vibrational energy. You know, you don't really win victories when you celebrate someone else's downfall or you celebrate sad moments in their life. You know, when they face bad karma, you really, there's no winners in that. Just like you don't want people to celebrate bad stuff in your life, you're not celebrating bad stuff in people's life. I feel like you are emotionally mature. 
you're happy with where you are. So it's like you don't feel the need to um, behave a certain way, even if you see other people behaving that way. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. So a lot of hard work is going to, I, I feel like there's a situation in your life where you've mastered something. You've put a lot of effort into something to seeing something grow. And it's like you're finally getting what you want out of a situation. The discipline that you put into something has paid off. It's paying off in a big way. You may have even, I feel like with this death card, you may have even wanted to give up on it. Seriously, you may have thought like, oh my goodness, this is too hard or I'm not seeing any real results or, you know, but it's like you're going to get the confirmation from some sort of spiritual, somebody, someone who was on the other in the, in the spirit realm that you need to keep working on it because the payoff will be great. Remain disciplined in this. Don't give up now. This is what I feel like I should tell you. Don't give up now. Times you wanted to say, okay, this is, this is, I'm, I don't see it going anywhere. Not at the rate that you wanted it to, but it's like someone is telling you, no, keep going. You're so close. There's, I don't have the picture with me, but there's like a picture of a, a person holding an axe to get out of a tunnel and they're like, there's like a, a very thin piece of wall left that they have to chop through before they make it, you know, before they get free from something, a constricting situation, but they are almost there and they want to give up. I feel like this is the push you need to keep swinging that axe until you can get that breakthrough. This is what I see. <laughs> Ten of Cups here, exactly, exactly. Do not talk yourself out of something, Pisces. That resilience will pay off. You're going to see your hard work. One thing, you're going to see your hard work pay off. One thing that I do see too, Pisces, is you're going to have that opportunity where you can be truthful with yourself as well as others about how you got to how you obtained something. Don't and also don't forget the people who helped you along the way. I feel like I need to tell you that. Remember those people who helped you along the way. Write down their names somewhere. Um because there's about to be a, a situation in your life where people are going to be like, well, who kind of helped you? I don't feel like you're doing something alone. You do have people kind of stepping in, you know. Don't forget the people who helped you obtain something or get to the top, okay? Okay. Remember their names, write them down some day on where, I don't know. So when you, when you having, when you giving your speech, you could say, I want to thank this person, that person, this, per I'm serious. I see this. Woo. <laughs> I want to thank this person, that person, this person, that person. I'm going to tell you something, <laughs> Pisces. I'm going to tell you something that I see too. You may even give props to the people. You may be like, I even want to thank my haters. Because y'all just, y'all, all y'all did was push me, make me want to go and keep going. You know, keep pushing, keep, keep being stronger. You know, so I feel like you're even going at times, you, you know, you're going to give accolades to the people who really stuck back, you know, who gave you that energy to want to keep going and keep going after your dreams and obtaining something. But you may give a little shout out to like, thank you to my haters, too. I appreciate all that, all that hate y'all was showing me along the way because it just made me want to keep going even more, be even more successful in life, you know? 
<laughs> you're moving on into calmer waters. Your life is going to get a little easier. Something is going to finally balance out for you. Yeah. I feel like you're about to abandon a lot of hard times. Something is going to get easier. You're looking at something in a, not just in a, it's almost like you're going to be grateful for the hard times. You're grateful that they're over, but you're also grateful that they made you, they shaped you into who you are. You're grateful for the people who came, who you've crossed paths with along the way that helped you with something yeah you have the eight of cups here so it's like this i'm gonna tell you something i feel like you are going to reluctantly let someone or something go but it's so you can have something better that's what i see it's so you can be in a better predicament, a better situation. This is why you're, you know that there is, it's like, so, okay, so I'll just say this. If you are, you live in a certain area, right? And you may love that area. But for you to actually grow and experience all these other things in life, you may have to relocate. You know, if if it's a job, you may love your job. You may love the department that you work in. And it could be just you love the department. So maybe you're going to a different department in that job. Even though you love the job, you may be kind of sad that you have to leave some department and go to a different department. But I do feel like thing, it's going to be calmer for you. Less hectic. No less drama feel. You ain't got to deal with people stabbing you in the back, back, trying to provoke you, hoping, you know, to get you to lower your vibrational positive energy because they're intimidated by some, by, by you and so, for whatever reason, or they look at you as competition, even if you're not competing with them. So it's like some sort of change that's coming is actually good. And again, you're getting confirmation from someone on the um, from the other side. So let's see what else is coming out. I'm going to close out this reading, Pisces. Forgiveness. Nice. So this may have some someone who's on the other side may even be asking you for forgiveness. Like, would you forgive them for being uncompromising or, you know, being so rigid, so stern or something like that? There may be forgiveness taking place. You may be finally forgiving someone who has already passed on. That's all they ever wanted. You know? Don't stop. I told you, you're going to get a cough. Pisces, look, there it is. Someone does not want you to give up. Some, remember I said times you're going to feel like, like, oh my goodness, this is too much. But someone, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. It'd be noisy. Sorry about that, y'all. They were stuck in traffic. But you're getting a confirmation not to stop. Keep doing what you're doing. You're so close to your goal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're so close to your goal. Nice abundance. Look at you, Pisces. Look at that. Look at that simply amazing reading. 
You're so close to your goal. Do not let something that you've been putting all this extra work into just fall by the wayside now. Don't do it because you deserve this level of abundance and fairness and balance and stuff. So don't let people who is trying to send negative energy your way and gossip and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, all that. Don't let that get to you. Um, if you've been responding with positivity to their negative actions or their passive aggressive behavior, let the universe deal with them. The spiritual side, see their behavior. The spiritual side, see your behavior. OK, so does karma. So don't worry about that. Keep moving forward in a very positive direction, doing what you're supposed to do in this life because it is going to pay off. And then it says meditation brings answers. So if, if you're dealing with, you know, people who are being messy or whatever, meditate, you know, release that negative energy. Um, you'll get the clarity that you need. You're, again, I said you're going to start seeing something from a different perspective and when you reach this level of abundance here, it says it's coming. So don't stop. Go ahead and give someone who already is in the spiritual realm forgiveness. But it does look like when this comes, um, you need to remember the people who helped you get there. OK, make sure you give them that those accolades that they really do deserve. Because I feel like if you don't have help right now, you're getting it. It's coming in for you. Someone who's going to either like a mentor train you or something, someone who really wants to see you win. OK, it's not these people right here who laugh about being passive aggressive or being messy or whatever it's not them you you know if you want to give them a little shout out once you reach this level of abundance and happiness and emotional contentment you're more than welcome to um but i feel like the real people who are coming into your life or that are currently in your life those are the ones you really want to remember okay because yeah <laughs> i see a lot of good things happening for you pisces so stay the course and that's your reading that's your message that's it it's nothing else to say okay sending you all love and light and i will talk with you beautiful amazing people later don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button too you know i had to say that <laughs> All right.